are finishing with what's called on the Casa de Dia right now a most amazing property. Okay. And this comes courtesy of the PortugalProperty.com portal. And it is the unique haven on the margins of Santa Clara Lake on the Alentejo coast of central Portugal. I think at the moment, this is where I want to live. And I know I tell you that to you every day. Each, I'll show you this, a, a house, don't I? A home, and I think, oh, this is the one. Nope, tomorrow, that's another one. <laughs> and on it goes. But this is extremely special. You will see, uh, this is with Berkshire Hathaway, Home Services, portugalproperty.com, and the unique and rather wonderful haven on the margins of Santa Clara Lake. So let me share that video with you now, um, which I should have done before, <clears throat> but here we go. There we go, you can see for yourself, it is the Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Portugal property portal, and let's check this out now. It's a YouTube video, here we go. Well, will you look at that? Oh, can you imagine having your dinner on that platform there, looking out over the lake? Oh man, I'm loving this house. That's the guest room, I believe. That's your guest quarters, not the same house that you saw before. A solar array for your energy requirements, presumably. And I think you've got a path down to the water. We'll have a look at the listing in a moment. Hey, Joanna, you've joined us at an amazing time looking at a property here on the Alentejo coast in central Portugal. Look at that. I could spend many an hour in that hammock on that balcony, and then I think, okay, I'll go out on the boat. I mean, to go inside the property now. Look at this. What a fabulous living space. And I think this person's a DJ. I'm pretty certain they are. We've got their couple of decks there. I used to have those myself back in the day. This would have been my, I mean, it still is, but this absolutely would have been my dream home with my DJ aspirations years ago. Look at that beautiful kitchen. Very well appointed, very well dressed house, isn't it? Look, with your oven there inside the house. Not a conventional oven, like a you know, bread oven or for baking your meat and fish or whatever. Beautiful wood burning stove there in the library area. Fabulous bathroom with these marble walls that are enclosing a shower. A beautiful old display cabinet, looks like from a, an apothecary or chemist. An ancient piece of furniture. And look, this is this is where you live if you have this house. Incredible Alentejo Coast landscape. Absolutely wonderful. You'd need a boat, wouldn't you? You want, you want to go out and enjoy that water. Buy me, says this property. PortugalProperty.com. And it looks like they're, they're well loved with their European Property Awards. And there you go. There's the details. But I'll put these with the video that I make. I will uh, put this, uh, all the details of how you can go ahead and buy this place. Buy it for me if you like. Um, and you can come and visit at the weekends. Unique property located in the margins of Santa Clara Lake in Alentejo. The lake at Santa Clara is located, yes, Joda, it is beautiful, is located in the Alentejo in the district of Beja near to Arik and Odimera. Great. We did a little trail that was basically a triangle of Monchic, Uric, and Odimera, I believe, um, a year or two ago. It is about 30 kilometers from the coast. So you are inland here, 90 kilometers from Faro in the south, and 230 kilometers from Lisbon. It was formed when a dam was placed on the Mira River near the small village of Santa Clara e Velha. And on it goes. I'm not going to read out the whole thing to you but just like selected paragraphs to give you a taste of it. This is a house that's easy to love from certain perspectives and from others. It looks quite unsuitable for its surroundings. You see how it's sat on the, on the hill, it's incredible. Uh, it appears, yes, to teeter 
off the hill at any moment, just waiting to land in its final resting place in the waters of the lake. So it's like a little spaceship, isn't it, landing on the hillside there? But it also looks like a house that sits in its surroundings as if it had always been there. It's a very poetic property listing. It also manages to look completely fresh, cool, new and spectacular. It is. I mean, it is all of those. It's fresh, cool, new and spectacular. It's absolute dream home. And it's beautifully put together and beautifully dressed. I don't know how many of those um, fixtures and fittings you see there, but just let me just give you a bit more detail about what you get for this. And it doesn't, I can't give you a price because there isn't one. I think you have to, um, yeah, you've got to make an inquiry here. Uh, the reference PP3334, uh, the villa in Anastasia with eight bedrooms. That should be enough, shouldn't it? Five bathrooms built in 2008. The plot size is 200,000 square meters. The build size is just over 1200 square meters. And yeah, let's have a look at some of the facilities. Guest villa, owner's house, staff house. You're going to need staff. Factor that in. Put, put that in the budget. You can't look after a place like that. You know what it's like? Even if you've got a flat, you barely stay on top of the cleaning. With this house, you're going to have to budget for staff and they've got their own place to live in. And there's another house in construction and there's a warehouse. Uh, storage, I guess. And look, organic garden, uh, irrigation pond, irrigation filters, photovoltaic panels and system of batteries and a shelter logic contractor. I'm not sure what that means. And a nautical spot. Is that your launch pad for your boat? I suspect it is. A true palace, I think that is meant to say. As passionate travellers ourselves, our vision for the unique haven was to create a new way of experiencing Portugal. You have done that, my friends. One that not only allowed us to make this place our home, but also delivered a truly unique personal experience to those that came to join us here. So we designed a resort that is built as much on personal relationships as the surroundings that also make the experience special. Our credo is in creation of a relaxing cultural environment with superb hospitality that provides a unique guest experience reflecting the very best of contemporary Portuguese lifestyle. Check it out for yourself. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to watch that video a few more times, I think, and dream of myself in that place. Uh, playing the old vinyl on those couple of Technics 1200s that are there, the DJ kit that's in that lovely lounge with that wonderful view. So Carl Munson saying thank you very much for joining me today and uh, here on the Good Morning Portugal radio show and podcast. I'll be back again tomorrow morning where I believe Owen will be co-hosting with me. We'll see if we can pull that technological feat off uh, tomorrow morning. And um, Owen and I can have a chat and do the weather and the words and the property with you so thank you very much have a great day on this the quinta feira uh, thursday the 30th of january 2020 uh, an interesting time for europe and the european union it has to be said see you tomorrow uh, which for which will be a big day for the united kingdom take care bye for now Hasta luego.